Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to work with the Oracle database in MATLAB using our app designer. So, we will create a MATLAB app for this. So, let's begin. Before I get into the MATLAB, I will go to the Mat uh, Windows command prompt and quickly check whether I am able to connect to the database or not. So, for that, I will use something called SQL plus command and this is this database is hosted on my local host and this is the UID and password which we will be using. The port number is the default 1521. And the database name is Excel. Perfect. So, in going back to the MATLAB environment, I have already copied the JDBC driver uh, in my local folder. I'll provide this JDBC driver on my website also. You can uh, copy from there and copy it in your local folder. You can give the path of the JDBC driver wherever it is in your machine. So, let's begin. We'll create an app. So, I've created a blank app here. And and first, I would like to save it so I can give it any name. I'll say probably Oracle DB app. You can name it anything; it doesn't matter. I know uh, I'll give it a very simple the layout. I'll just put one button which will trigger. Probably I can name this button as connect to Oracle DB. So or Oracle database or DB. Perfect and. I will display, uh, I will use a text here probably to display my output. So, I will fetch something from the database. Some, some, I will do some query and whatever the output we get will display it in this text area. So, I will just name this text area as output. Perfect. So, once we have it, then we will go to the code. Oh, before we go to the code view, I can also do is one thing is in this button callback, I can add a callback push button. Uh, uh, call uh, callback function and over here is the main coding what we will do so the most important part of this function will be to make the connection string which is basically using the uh, api called database and in this uh, we will we can either pass on simply the data source and the uid of and password or we can form the data source completely over here so i'll show you how we can do everything over here and rather than uh, using the probably the database explorer to form data source so i'll just first first could be blank because we are not going to use any kind of data source the second could be my uid and password which is cpx so this password i'm yeah, i'm referring to this sql plus which i use over here to connect to my database okay and my password will also be same Okay, then I have lots of options which I can give. So some of the options. No, I think I didn't want to do this. Okay, so there are options like auto commit and all. I'm not sure I don't want to use them. I first want to come to the new line. And over here, some of the options which I will give is uh, in the PV uh, uh, name value pair. One will be the vendor. And the vendor name is Oracle. Everything will be in the string form. And then the second argument could be the driver, the driver which we'll be using. And over here, that's the place where I was referring in. Okay, I think I forgot to give this. Yeah. Uh, you have to give the path, the complete path of where your JDBC driver is. For us, it's over here only. So we can give just this name. So I've copied it in my uh, clipboard and I will give this over here and what else so apart from driver then we can form a URL and in the URL what we can do is we can form it in the string form so uh, first will be JDBC Oracle we have to be very careful with this arguments what we are passing on here don't mistake and especially with this semicolon, with this column, I many times do the mistake. Then at the rate of, and over here, we can give what is in our uh, TNS names, basically, so descriptions, and that will be address protocol. So there will be a bit of typing here. You can, if you want, you can skip to the next level, and then 
I going to get the semicolon and then host will be my local host I think there is one L extra so spelling mistake shouldn't be there then what else we will need port so we can have port number is 1521 the default one as I already mentioned and then connect underscore data so I will post this code in my uh, portal so you can copy it from there as well Underscore name is a name of database. I think that's all is what I feel. I can just give a semicolon here, and that's all. So I just remove some of this space, and that's all I guess. Yeah. So once we have this connection, I think uh, might be unusual. No, no, we'll use it. Don't worry. Uh, that MATLAB is showing a warning upfront. So we'll form our query. Uh, so the query which we'll use to fetch some data. So the query which we may use is select table name from user underscore tables and fetch the first probably what 10 rows only. Or we can use any count here. Yeah. So once we have the query, then what we can use is we can get the data from this query which is fetch. And in this phase, the first part will be the connection, and the second will be the query which we want to fetch. Perfect. And we this we may have to change the data to okay. First and foremost, what I'll do is once it's done, I'll close the data, close it, close the connection, database connection, because it's not good to keep it open hanging, it may throw give other kinds of database error I will not get in, into those details now what we will do is over here we will convert that table to an array form because by default this will return line number 31 the data will be written in a table format which cannot be displayed in the text view so we will uh, change it from table to array form and then once we have it then we can display it in our uh, probably the output text area dot value perfect and over here we can use this data perfect now we'll run it and see how it comes comes up okay so something came up let me click this button and see what happens okay so it seems like i'm getting some error uh, what it says is invalid url specified so i think there is some problem with the url this particular argument which we are trying to form here Okay, so one thing which I did mistake, I think is instead of thin, I by mistake wrote this. I don't know why. I'm probably used to Java code of doing coding. And one is this parenthesis is what it was missing. Let me see if it works now. I'm rerunning the code. And perfect. Yeah, so it worked now. This time there was no error. And uh, yeah, so that's all is what I guess. Uh, this connection part is very tricky and we have to be very careful with the string as you saw uh, we got lots of error uh, so i will put this code anyway on my portal uh, try to copy most of the stuffs and just change your attributes say for example username password and jdbc driver path and the vendor name and all those stuffs but otherwise keep it as uh, much as possible the same form your own query fetch the data change it to the array form or something to display it in the text area and that's all so I hope this video is useful to you and uh, it's pretty simple. You can use this data in any form in your app designer, uh, in your app, Metal app. So I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.